I mean, it seems like, you know, I can't uh, find a way to win. You know, it's not an excuse. Um, you know, two tips again tonight, but I got to find a way to stop that. And the second one, I made one mistake. I kind of tried to look on the other side. I couldn't find the puck, and uh, he just put a five ball. So. Hey, it looked like it might have surprised you. Like he, did he look you off in sort of a way? Or you no, didn't look like he was going to pass I couldn't find it okay. for, for a bit, and I think it was between Croner's leg or something. And he just turned around and wrapped, like shot it. So I made a mistake there, but I thought my game was pretty clean tonight. How frustrating is it when you feel like you're playing well and the results maybe aren't coming? Well, you know, you just got to keep working. Um, it's been uh, it's been like that for me for a while, but I just got to keep doing the right thing, and at some point it's going to change. Do you Does the team take on that same philosophy in a bigger sense, that things aren't going well, we just got to keep pushing through, pushing through, and then the results come? Yeah, I hope uh, everyone's on the same page, you know. Um, it just seems like we, we, we don't make a lot of mistakes. I thought we played a really solid game. We don't tie up two sticks and ends up back of our net. We got some tips, hits his shoulder. He's not even in a good position, but it still hits his shoulder. So it's just the way it goes right now. You know, I thought we did a lot of good things. Uh, you know, pressured the puck a lot. We had a lot of time in the zone, created a lot of, you know, chances and opportunities. Um, you know, I thought we carried the play for for most or a lot of the game tonight. But, um, you know, just yeah. come out on the losing end is um, disappointing. How frustrating is it getting just, I mean, close loss after close loss? Yeah, it's uh, it's been really frustrating. Uh, it hasn't been easy, but um, we got to continue to to go out and, and work, you know, and improve on our, our game as a team and as individuals. And um, you know, tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's a new day. We get to the rink, learn uh, learn uh, how we can get better. And um, you know, I obviously a couple of their goals were tips. Just got to make sure that we get blocks or you know take away uh, take away their time and space. Um, but. You know, we just got to stick with. I think we're doing a lot of good things out there. Is it a matter of having to develop a better killer instinct? I mean, you had to think they were going to push back, and, and that you guys needed to close them out. Yeah, I mean, you know, you want to you want to close them out. Um, you know, I, I thought, uh, you know, like I said, you know, on, on the tip like they had that uh, Horvat goal was um, kind of a bad bounce. I thought, you know, that those type of things happen, unfortunately, and, and uh, he found a way to put it in. And then uh, Roussel's goal. Um, you know, he made a good tip uh, from the slot, but uh, you know I thought, you know their decor did a good job of, of getting pucks through and, and uh, finding sticks. So we just got to make sure we take their time and space away. And uh, yeah, I mean we obviously want to go out and get that next goal, but uh, at the same time we got to make sure that uh, we're not allowing them either. Yeah, we were okay, but okay doesn't get the job done again. I mean it's it's just very frustrating right now when you play good hockey. You know we played. Good in Calgary for the most part. Played really good tonight again, and then um, the result isn't there, and um, it's tough. Is it a matter of needing a better killer instinct in putting teams know. away? I, I don't think we're nervous or anything. I think we're, we're playing well. Um, the goalie makes some great saves in the first and second period. You know, it should be 4 5 1, but it's not. But there's no panic. We played okay, and then, you know, the tying goal again where we, we do our job, we block it. Takes a few bounces and uh, goes in. So it's, uh, ah, I don't know. You, again, we, we just got to stay positive in here. It's tough right now, but yeah. hopefully those bounces will come our way soon. How do you not let it wear on you, though? Well, it's tough. I mean, you, we're all pros. We want to win. You know, it's, it's no fun when you keep losing. But again, I think at least we're at the stage where we're, we're playing consistently, I think, well, which again, it, there's no no bonus points for that, unfortunately. But again, as a group, we, we just got to put it behind us again, think about think about it tonight and um, come back to work tomorrow in practice and get two, uh, get, uh, two points on Tuesday. Kind of a little bit of wishing you had converted on one of the power plays, I got to think, too. I think the first one you had four yeah. or five shots. Yeah, I mean, again, I had great tips. And he's still, you know, he's a big guy, Marky. He, he battles, you know. I don't know if he saw all of them or just hits them, but it's the way it's been going right now. And then on the other end, you know, they have two tip goals and one that was kind of bouncing around. So, like I said, we, we got to stay positive and hopefully we'll The turn look out. on your face after their third goal, I mean, was that demoralizing to have that? After the way you guys dominated the first two periods, yeah, uh, for sure. We, I mean, we knew they were going to make a push out there, but I think we, uh, 
except for their their power play. I think we we want control, and then they get uh, you know two goals like that. It, it was tough, uh, but I, I don't know what to say. I, it's not like I think we we played a terrible third period out there. Uh, we didn't, you know, we we tried to be still getting pucks deep. Uh, we didn't turn pucks over. Uh, it's yeah, it's just one of those you can't really explain it. Is it a matter of you guys needing a better killer instinct for putting teams away? I mean, if you yeah, I mean, I think we, we talked about it. we we wanted to go out there and, and go for that fourth one uh, and try to put the game away. Uh, but at the same time, you know when when a team is down come into the third, you know they're going to be more aggressive down the wall, pinching with the Ds. You know they're going to come and, and take some chances, so you've got to be smart about it too. Uh, and I think we, I don't want to say we played it bad, but uh, I guess we, we got to be even better. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just, not, I mean, it's just not okay. What's, is there confidence missing to close teams out? Or? Well, I don't think there's any doubt that, uh, you know, when, when you haven't won, your confidence sags. And when you win a lot, your confidence is good. We got in the role in November there where, you know, I think that's the league right now. It's so tight. Most of the teams, it's so tight that uh, when you get on a roll, you can really get on a roll. But that goes both ways, winning and losing. And right now we're in a roll the wrong way. We just keep finding ways to lose hockey games. I couldn't ask a whole lot more out of our guys from a competitive, from a work, from a, the attention to detail. I thought for, for really, we're excellent really throughout. I thought they played way better in the third, so it was a little bit more back and forth. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I thought after the second we could have been up more than 2-1, we were up 2-1. Uh, with that said, we have to find a way to dig in and, and win these yeah. hockey games. So we're going to another challenge ahead of us on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I've, to be honest with you, after tonight's game, you feel for the whole group because uh, how well they played and they deserved to, to have a better fate in a lot of ways. And, um, you know, credit to them. They pushed back and found a way to win. Good for them. But, uh, you know, I think, again, we're, we're in this as a group, man, and we got to keep digging and find a way to win on Tuesday. What, what prompted the decision to scratch him today? Well, this isn't a one-time, uh, you know, one-day decision. We, this this has been coming for a while. And, um, you know, I think part of the learning process for any player is to, uh, at times, it's 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 sitting. You know, people talk about development and they think it's playing. Well, sometimes it's sitting. Sometimes you got to learn, uh, both from a chance to take a breather and watch a game, but just as importantly, I think to understand that uh, you got to correct certain things. And, and you know, his defensive game, he, he's had way too many times where we've been digging it out of the net and he's just got to continue to learn and, and get better at those things. The other thing is it's competitive and, and you know we took Phil Heronic out um, and he wants to be in too and so it just became a decision we made. I know it's results oriented but I mean is it a positive how hard players keep working game after game that and don't get discouraged despite not getting the outcome? You, you know how crushing the loss was the other night. If you're if you're in the building, you you feel it, and and yet we came out and had an unbelievable effort again tonight. It's a it's a real care uh, tribute to the character of this group that they keep fighting like crazy. Now we got another huge challenge in front of us. You know, it's another crushing tough loss. We got to have a short memory. We got to find a way to get better tomorrow, and then we got to make sure we play great on Tuesday.